Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a diamond painting haul and this is from One Day Saving. They very kindly sent me some products to share with you all on my channel today and they have given me a 5% discount code. So if you want to go and purchase anything at all from their website, you can use it. It is Marcia 05 off. I'll pop it on the screen here for you to have a look at. And I'll also bob it in the description box down below, along with links to the products and to their website. So let's get inside. They've been very generous again. So I've tried to choose a few different things. Um that look interesting. So I'm gonna pop these to one side. And the first thing I've chosen is, this is coming in the box and it is for Christmas. And then um, it's, oh, sorry, I'm knocking you there. It's just something a little bit different. It's an ornament. Let me get it out. So I don't know if you can see there on the front. Um, it just looks really, really fun. I think it'd be really nice to have in the background in my craft room. Oh, is that a little extra thing or is it the base? Hang on, let me just see. Right, that's everything done there. Are there any instructions here? Just really basic things, just about you how to do diamond painting in general. Um, I'll pop the prices on the screen. So what's included, we have got um, like the base here. So it's like a Christmas tree, as you can see, with a hanging bit there. Oh, and it, it's double-sided. Oh, that is brilliant. I was just wondering if it'd be double-sided. So that looks like it's double-sided. We've got all of our crystals. We've got a basic kit along with a few baggies and some wax in there. And then here are the other bits here. So let's open this up. So this has got the base and the dangler. I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen of what it's meant to look like when it's finished. This is gonna be really loud crinkling, sorry. It always picks up so loud on my phone. So here are the other bits and pieces that we need. So we've also got some chain. We have got the base, which looks really, really pretty. There's this clear bit. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, unless you maybe don't want to have a decorated base, I'm not sure. And then we have got the little dangle, which is the snowman here. How cute, double-sided again. And so basically oh it's like on a swing oh my gosh this snowman's on a swing <laughs> um so this will end up standing upright on the base so um, i'm gonna say that that's gonna fit into there and that will stand it up she says it's covered in oh it's covered in film just now but yeah that'll go in like that i think i'm gonna do a video on this and then the little snowman we've got the this here we're going to put thread it through there and it's just going to hang and swing. So there's a bit here where it goes in and there. And then the snowman's going to just hang in there, swinging away. I think that is the cutest thing ever. Um, I just thought it'd be something really different compared to just getting a diamond painting canvas. I think this would be really fun. I think this would be great for to do with the children as well, um, leading up to Christmas. And then, yeah, I cannot wait to get this up in my craft room. <laughs> I'm such a child. Um, Let's have to, it looks like it's all crystals and special drills. So it's gonna be really, really blingy. It should look lovely. Um, if you've not done this before, this would be a really easy one to start off with. So if you can see here, actually I can show you on the base, it'd be easier to show you here. So you can see the printed really, really clearly. You've got numbers and um I like the different shapes so you can see where they're meant to go. You just peel back um, the film and then it's sticky underneath. And then whatever it tells you on there, the number, that's what colour of gem you put on. Um, use your little pen to do it, but I'll show you that in the video. Here are the gems. Let's have a quick flick through, let's see what we've got. So I think there are 19 altogether, 16, 17. Oh, 17, I think. So let's, let's go through them. So we've got some like white pearly ones. We've got just some sort of clear silvers, some blues, different shades of blue. Some more sort of iridescent white, like aqua, yellow, reds, blacks. 
some bigger sort of pale blues or oh, some really beautiful look at the, these sort of teardrop ones but they're um, clear with an ab coating and these gorgeous blue pearly ab's very nice and then we've got some other shaped ones here we've got some larger ones there pretty we have got these oh these ones look gorgeous look at them i think this is gonna look so so pretty when it's finished here and then these that little like um almost like snowflakey ones in the middle can you see they're 12 where do they go where does number 12 go they look really pretty like they'll be in the center yeah like they're in the center here 12 no i haven't got that many a few around about so yeah beautiful i cannot wait to do that so that's the first thing um i'll just try and i'll pile it all together here and then i will sort it out after so yeah i'm really really excited to do that one have you done any of these and have you found any problems have they attached really sort of easily with the oops i've nearly lost them have they attached easily with the little, little metal pieces do let me know if you've got any hints or tips Next, we have got this. Have I got some scissors? I can't actually remember what I requested. So let's find out. Ooh. I know I'm really loving like all the special drills and crystals and things rather than the full ones and they get done so much quicker and then um, and they're just fun to do I can't remember what this design is at all let's have a look okay so oh. oh my gosh there's a little printed chart inside that's good I don't think I've seen that before on any of these so it's gonna be like a butterfly in like a mandala so it just says it is a luminous diamond painting. The effect will be affected by if the letters and numbers printed on the canvas. Therefore, please refer to the letter number on the instructions and the diamond tools bag to DIY this diamond painting. P.S. The letters of the instruction manual correspond to the letters on the diamond tool bags one by one. OK, let's see if we can work out what that's about. So I think it's just probably just saying you need to put them all in the right place if you've never done it before. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice size, not too big, really, really pretty. Um, yeah, just a really nice, simple one. Since it's a 30 by 30, um, I'm going to imagine it's a 25 by 25. I haven't got my tape measure with me, I don't think. So we shall leave it just at that. In here, you get like your basic kit with baggies. We've got that little bit of information there. And we have the drills. So let's have a look at this one. Just make sure I do not get these mixed up. <laughs> um, having said that, on the bags are printed with LZYG14, which is the same code as on the canvas, which is really handy. So you can store your um, drills separate to your canvas if that's what you like to do. I started putting my canvases in like a large like Rexel type folder, like a document folder, which helps keep them number one clean and flat. So I've started doing that and then keeping all my drills in a bag. So again, there are some loose baggies in here as well. So make sure you don't keep them all together. And oh gosh, there's a lot of these ones. Well, these are also printed though with the code of the canvas. Let's have a look. Gosh, oh, I love it. Some really beautiful big ones. I need to start doing more diamond painting. And um, so we've got some nice clear crystals, some little blue ones, pink, aqua. So like a red, not quite a red, it's a red sort of, um, like a frosted opaque um, soft tangerine and a, a sort of limey colour. Then the special ones, we've got these beautiful ones here. There's a lot of these actually. These yellow ones, some pinks, some blues. Some very, oh gosh, look at these ones. They've got like the AB coating on. They are gorgeous. 
some large pearly AB iridescent ones, some smaller pearls, some sort of red, nice like diamond cut ones, very big greens, some sort of AB pearly blues, and the red. So they look really, really lovely. So I'm excited to have a go at this one as well. This one looks pretty straightforward too. And I've just got one more. Let me move this out of the way. Can I keep them all separate? I don't want to get these all mixed up. I've um, got another one here. Um, let's see what's inside. Just when you're opening your bags, do make sure, don't cut straight across here because you can sometimes cut the canvas. Just slip your scissors inside this little bit in the envelope here and then cut that way. Yeah, so if you cut that way and then you're not going to damage the canvas inside. And again, I can't remember, it looks like I've got another mandala. I'm obviously into the special shapes. I wonder why I didn't choose any Christmassy ones. I'm not sure. I mean, I've got my little ornament. I can enjoy these all year round though, can't I suppose? Okay, so again, you've got everything inside the canvas. And here we go. So another 30 by 30, just it's a mandala, really pretty. I might give this one to my mum to do actually and see if she wants to have a go at it. Um, or maybe I shall save it. And when she comes up, I'm going to get her up for a crafty day and she can sit and do one with me. So that'd be nice. Just spend a bit of time together. Having a chat and a coffee. I've just seen this one here. It's like an orange and pink shift. Can't get in. How am I going to get into this one? Here we go. So, oh, I haven't been telling you, have I, about the code? So this one's got 11. It's got the printed code on the side. Um, so the actual canvas itself, then, you're going to have to follow the symbols, the printed symbols. Which look pretty clear, to be honest. Um, and here is the chart at the side. It's got the MC numbers there. Well, for crystals, I suppose, their own version. And, yeah, did the other one have that? The butterfly had a DMC printed. Let me just show you quickly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's the butterfly one. It's got its code down the side. Quite small, to be honest. But it looks straightforward. Okay. Right, then. So, what have we got in here? Okay, okay. So, in this one, this kit comes along with a basic kit, but also some tweezers, which is always handy. But I just struggle. I think the plastic are they? Yeah, I think they're the plastic tweezers there. So, there we are. Because I don't use these. Having said that, I did buy. I've got a couple of the larger pens to use for my wax. But I do like these little pens that you get. <laughs> they are, they're all right. It's just that they're a bit thin, that's all. So we have 11 colours in total. Let's look. So we've got some yellow crystals. Some white ABs. These beautiful clear ABs. Look at the diamond cutting on those. Gorgeous. Some little teardrops that are yellow. These, look at them. They're green and put with a purple shift. So pretty. That's them pinky orange ones. These are good. Oh my gosh, I actually love the drills. The colours are beautiful. There's going to be, oh, when the light hits these, some gold ones. Look at these. Wow. You turn them out, so you can see them on the back. Honestly, so pretty. And then there's a separate baggie with these in, these purpley ones. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I love the I love them in here. Oh, I want to do that one. It's just such a pretty, pretty looking kit. Right then, that's everything. Short and sweet today. I hope you've enjoyed my video. The links to all of these will be in the description box below with a link to the website and my discount code so happy crafting and i'll see you all in my next video please subscribe if you haven't already if you've enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel and i'll see you all again next time bye